friends, welcome back. And if you've never seen my face before, welcome. This video has been highly requested by three people. But no, seriously, if you commented on my last video, thank you so much. It does mean a lot to me because it's nice to know that people are interested in what I'm making, you know? Anyway, this is just gonna be an update on my last video. If you haven't seen that one, I'll link it somewhere here. If you did watch my last video, you'll know that I escaped a six gallon long tank and it's been six months since I uploaded that video. So it is time for a bit of an update. So let's just get right to it. Here it is, the same but different. Here is a little refresher of what the tank looked like in the last video, AKA in March, AKA six months ago. This is what it's looking like currently. Um, yeah, it looks different than when I last updated. As you can see, most of the java ferns that I had in the back are no longer there because they all died. And actually, most of the original java ferns that I had in there died. So the java ferns you're seeing now are new. I also added this Anubius. It's not just that one Anubius there anymore. There are two. This one's a variegated one. And I added some more Anubius back there. A boost plant. Um, the floaters are doing really well. I do have some algae growing on the driftwood, but that's okay. I think algae on driftwood looks good. I did have algae growing on the glass because one day the curtains were left open and the sun just really shined in and caused it a big issue. But I'm sure I would have had algae in the tank either way because it is such a new tank. But as it's maturing more and more, there's less and less algae on the glass. Like I probably only have like a little few spots on this side, literally just in like this area. But other than that, it just tends to grow there on the driftwood, which is fine with me. I think that looks great. Right now it doesn't look too bad. Actually, it doesn't look bad at all compared to times in the past, but since this is such a new tank, I get like a thick film of biofilm all over the driftwood. But since it is maturing a little more, I don't get it as much. So that's nice because I don't have to constantly be scrubbing the grossness off of the driftwood. But it's it's really progressing quite well. I'm I'm very happy. Okay, I took the top off. A favorite little feature I have is the moss and the algae growing at the very top of this driftwood. I think it's so cute. But overall, the tank is doing really well. Um, I named my fish Wrigley. Wrigley is doing really well, just thriving in here. I do also have an Amano shrimp in here, but I never see him. And the only way I know that he's still in there and still alive is because of the little shrimp poop that I see. <laughs> But yeah, that's my little update. Everything's doing really well. Look at him just showing off. He's, it's, he's so still. Will he move? Do you think he'll move if I move? Okay, Wrigley, go off. Have your moment. <laughs> Here's some close-ups. Everything is doing pretty well in here. There's a couple of brown spots on the java ferns as you can see, but everything's doing quite well in here. Wrigley's favorite spots do tend to be kind of right there or on the other side of the driftwood to just chill, and he tends to sleep in that java fern right there. But he really does just swim around the entire tank. <laughs> I do have plans to rehome everyone that's in this tank into a bigger tank that I already have. I just haven't started it. This is it. This is the tank right here. It's an 11 gallon long because you know, I've just found my love for long tanks. I did buy a divider for it, but obviously it's not gonna be here on the floor. It's gonna be up on the table, but not gonna divide it anymore because 
At first I wanted to have it divided, you know, kind of sort of like that, more on one side than the other, and have the shrimp over here to live in peace so they wouldn't get eaten or harassed. But then all of my shrimp, except for the one that's left in there, passed away, which is unfortunate. I really don't know what happened because it wasn't all at the same time. So anyway, I do plan to get another betta and that's why I wanted to have it kind of sectioned off, but I don't know, TBD when I'll even start on this, TBD when I'll even get another betta fish, but it's all in the works. I do have it and I have plans to start it. I also finally finished this little scape. It's just here in my room. It's home to four black pinto shrimp, but you wouldn't know it because none of them are out to say hi. And it is looking a little gross right now. As you can see, there's algae and kind of dying plants, but it's cute. I really like it. So let me know if you're interested in seeing more of this one, because I do have a little setup video that I put together that was a complete fail, but <laughs> it is what it is. So that's it, just a short and sweet little update. Again, thank you to those of you who commented saying you wanted an update, because it is encouraging that people are still interested. I do have an Instagram, oh betta, if you want to see more consistent updating, because compared to my YouTube uploads, I am definitely more consistent um, with content on the Instagram. So if you think you would be interested in that, go ahead and check it out. Like I showed you earlier, I do kind of, sort of, have another project in the works. I mean, I have the tank. I'm just not sure when I'm actually going to escape it and put it together. But when I do, I will be sure to document it, video it, so that way you can see what I'm doing too. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I hope when this video finds you, that you're doing okay. Bye.